What's going on guys? It's your boy Mr. 75 Caprice with another video. Today guys, we're going to be taking the new truck we just picked up over the weekend, the Yukon Denali, to Ogden Auto Glass to get it tinted. Uh, I don't like driving around with no tins. I need some tins. So we're going to go over there right now to Ogden, get the two front windows tinted and possibly the windshield. Um, still debate on that. But uh, let me show you all what I picked up this morning. Picked up this eight and a half we're in. Cool thing about it is it already has the coilover brackets and it came with wheel wood brakes, which they are over here. We got the slotted rotors and we got of course the wheel wood brake calipers. So I think it was a great deal. I actually bought it from the owner of the 71 Caprice. I've been towing around the dark brown one with the rose gold Forgiados. So shout out to him for the good deal. So yeah, he sold me his old rear end. Uh, that's an eight and a half. He upgraded to a nine, and he went uh, with a bigger lip in the back. So that's just a stock length right now for stock dunks so the good thing about this is that i can work on this one while still having mine on kilo because kilo has the same rear end but kilo does not have wheel woods in the back it does got wheel woods in the front but not in the back so this gives me the opportunity to take it and get it cut for a seven inch lip and put the wheel woods in the back so I think it was a nice little upgrade. I still gotta work on it, but uh, who knows? I might just change my mind. You never know with this, you know, with car stuff. Uh, but it's not something I needed it. It's just more like uh, for looks and upgrading the brake system because in the back we got drums. So we're gonna be putting disc brakes in the rear. So yeah, it's already been converted. But like I said, I'm still gonna debate if I wanna put this or I wanna sell it. But I just bought it because it was a good deal and it got delivered to me so that was a pretty cool part about it so yeah we're gonna be doing some thinking i'm gonna highlight a suspension guy see what he thinks uh whether put this eight and a half or just wait and get a nine all right but let's get this day going because i do got plans of going to check out something out later on i'm not gonna say much because it's not 100 percent sure but in case we do i'll show you guys to see what i'm talking about All right, we made it out here to Ogden Auto Glass. Where are we gonna be tinted? The new daily. Definitely need the wind, the two front windows tinted, and possibly the windshield. Being that it's all black, it's gonna look all nice. So yeah, I'm gonna go in here, talk to them, see if they got some uh, openings for me. So I'll show you guys the aftermath. Well, now we know what this batch means. Time to remove it. Didn't know what it meant, but definitely has nothing to do with the truck. Guess it's something about Joe Biden or something. I don't know. Well, we don't need no batches here in this truck. Now we're going to use maybe some goo off to take it off. And then probably hit it with some compound. Anybody want the batch before I throw it out? All right, guys. I just got done with the window tinting. I right here with my boy. So, shop. You guys can see today. You know what my head and we did. You gotta speak no, louder, man. You can't, they can't I'm hear sorry, you. Remember? Right. <laughs> what we did today was we went ahead and we matched the two fronts to the back, which is a 15. Also did the same thing as we did on this dually. You guys can see 35 percent in the front Not too dark. So what's right. so what's the windows in the front? The two fronts are 15. 15? Yes, okay. I don't know why I thought they were gonna be 25. Or 20 of me, no? I mean, it's the same thing. The it three, is? Yeah, 300 grading skills is a little bit different. Oh, okay, so it's yeah, 15? It yes, sir. I think it looks perfect. Yes, sir. 
Let me step back so y'all can see the full experience. Like not too dark, I think it's just too perfect. Cause then when it's like too dark, you can't even see at night. I can barely see, man. So. I mean, with the film we use, you know, with the film we use, you can see pretty perfectly fine. So what yeah, kind of I film? Mean, what kind of film you guys use? We use 3M, it's 3M ceramic mixed film. If you guys want to say, you know, you guys are kind of curious. My dad's 52, and he's with the film we're still filming. All right, now y'all did a good job, man. I'm gonna come back on Wednesday, bring you guys like Felix, so y'all can do it, so we can get it ready. Yeah, we... yes, bring it back. Yeah, I gotta bring it back. Cause I took him off. I took the tints off. <laughs> no, I just I just took him off. I wanted to see what it looked like with Autumn, so I'm just gonna put a light tint. I don't want a dark one. I want a something light, not. not uh, nah, man, I don't know. We're gonna see. Once it's here, but I want something light. I don't want nothing dark. It, it, it's really gonna be something light all around. Yeah. Like very any tin on it. You get it? Just yeah, like lighter a, than this. A 35, man. Yeah, we're, we're gonna check it out once we bring it. Well, bro, appreciate it, man. See you Wednesday. Alright, gang, we are here at our second stop. Check it out, my boy's truck. He just got it lifted by Sammy's tire. Got that new silver. What is this? A GMC or Silverado? I think it's a GMC. Yep, GMC, the AT4. Thing's nasty. Nice. The big lift. I don't know if it's 11 or. Size wheels are these? 24s. Nice concave. Thing looks mean. All murdered out. Nice. Look at that front end looks very aggressive coming down. Yeah. I think it's nice. Oh, he must have seen me. What up, bro? Oh, he's in my truck right quick. Looks good washed. <laughs> yeah, you know where we at? Distinct Visual Solution. About to check out the merch. Busy, busy, or what? Yeah, we've been a little busy here and there. I got this hat right here, though. All blacked out. Ooh, let's check out the hat. Can't even see it, right? Kind of hard to see, but it's black on black. So I'm thinking maybe if we do this silver, uh, this gray color with black. Uh, well, we got the hoodies here. Got the merch ready. For those that order your merch, your orders are gonna be ready to be shipped out. Check it out. So we do some of the design black and this charcoal. Oh, it'll to break of, it up, yeah. yeah it'll kind of make it pop out. Yeah, because how you did uh, the Tonico's hat, the yeah. black, that, that... That made it pop out. It made it made pop out. Okay, so. we'll just try it, but that's why we wanted to try it. Yeah, that's a free sample, though. Ooh, free sample, you heard that? We like free samples. How the hoodies came out nice, or what? Yeah, hoodie's dope. Hoodie's dope. So then we got the... Then we got the black one. And we got the black one. Hang on it. Oh yeah, the black ones are dope too. Yeah, those are nice. And then you got, remember I told you you had one that was more heather? Uh, green and the two X. That it was what? Because it looked like a heathery green. Different green, so you got two different uh, military greens. Okay, it's in here somewhere, bro. You find it. So, why are they different? Because these are the ones you ordered, these are the these are the ones that we ordered, right? And then okay. these are the ones that had, had that leftover stock. Oh, they so you them. had these, so I just threw these extra ones in there. Oh, okay, you know so these are the ones that we went with, uh, we chose the color. So Gotcha. Yeah, I was confused. So that's the one. The this is the one that remember I gave you last time. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. That's the color. That's that color. Yeah, this is the one. Remember that other hoodies that I had here? That you said go with those. Yeah. Is that, is that one? So you had those in here? I had these. Remember the extra ones that we put in the box. Okay. So those those are not. 
The one that that I, that I bought last time. Is that right? Is that one? Okay. Yeah, it just looked right. different. This is throwing me out right now, I guess. Yeah, because this is the other brand. Okay. You know what I'm saying? This is the brand that I had over here that was in the box. Gotcha. Remember, that's why I told you that you could have a different, a different, uh, but all the main sizes are these right yeah, here. Yeah, that looks like more brownish. Yeah, this, all, like this, more... all the main sizes are these. Okay. You have only a few of those because that's what I had left in the box. Yeah. So. No, they still look nice. What are you doing uh World of Wheels this weekend? Yeah, this weekend. All right. What time are you going up there? Um... All right, guys, we're done here. All right, guys, we are back at home. So we finally got all the orders in right here. This is for all the people that order a hoodie. Um, I know some of y'all probably didn't know that I was doing merch, uh, but if you guys do follow my Instagram, um, I have put this uh, hoodie that uh, I had gotten done. Well, I actually got one done, and some people liked them, so they kind of ordered some. So this is just for the people that already ordered some. Um, these are prepaid so um you will pay for them i will order them and then once they're done once i have the order in i get them done so here they are for those that um order hoodie your hoodie is done now just gotta figure out where they're going so here they are i also got a head uh made uh this is just it was just a, a sample i guess because we wanted to see how all black one looked so um it looks good um it looks better in person i don't know why here kind of looks purple or but um i just like an old black hat and i think it's pretty nice but we're gonna try another form of kind of break it down with two-tone uh stitching so we're gonna be trying that to see how that looks but this is an old black one i still got some of my other ones uh i don't know if you guys my other ones look like this don't mind this one because i use this one but this is how i use them you can tell see <laughs> But this is how my other ones look like. So these are pretty cool. So I still got some of those. So if you guys like some of the merch, let me know. Uh, I know some of y'all don't have Instagram. So now is your chance. And you guys can send me an email. Or I can send me a, a, a comment here or on YouTube. Or we can figure out how to get in contact. But also, I will be having some merch at the World Wheels this weekend coming up. So if y'all want to pick up a hoodie or a hat, I'll be having some. I don't have a lot of big sizes because um, I don't like the bigger sizes cost a little bit more so I just don't want to have hoodies sitting you know that I'm not going to use at least like the normal sizes I can probably use or find someone that um, I can have them use but these are the hoodies um, this is army green and we got the black ones and they both got it uh, on the sleeve as well see this is the sleeve and here is the sleeve for the green one. I think they're pretty dope. Um, I haven't really been um, doing a lot of designing, I guess, merch, you can say. I'm pretty simple right now. <laughs> I just like my logo. And I know some people like the logo as well. So, like I said, if you guys want to get some kind of merch or... I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of colors out there. I just... I actually seen the army green when I was there at his place and I liked it so I printed some for me and then you guys well the people that seen them on my Instagram asked for some so this is why the army green came along but also we got the black ones you know black always looks good so yeah but like I said let me know if you guys are interested in any of this hoodies or a hat um, I don't have any of the black ones that was the, actually the first one that he just made me it was a sample um, I do have a couple, not so many of the other ones, um, this ones. So yeah, just let me know guys. Check it out gang. Just picked up these two males, American Bullies. So I wanted to get one. You guys know Paolo is not probably going to come back. So I wanted to get another bully and uh, one of my buddies, Kendall. Um, had this puppies left, so I wanted to come check. I mean, I wanted to go check them out. So I went to go check them out, and long story, I ended up with two. I mean, I'm only keeping one, so I gotta find a home for the other one, which is that one. I'm keeping this one right here, and that one I'm looking for a home. So, if anybody's interested, let me know. He's a male, he was born December 17th, I believe. So, still a puppy, got his first shots. Like I said, I bought them both because I wanted my kids to pick one, and they picked this one right here. 
So this one right here is available. Comes with papers. Uh, good bloodline. If you guys are interested, uh, more information, you guys can send me a message. But these are nice males. Uh, like I said, my kids kept asking for Pablo, so we just try this. I mean, I think they were nice, you know, chocolate color. Never really seen uh, too many of the chocolate color. So I think they look nice. What y'all think, gang? New bully for the channel. I think he's gonna be nice. Look at him. They're both actually nice. He got like more wrinkles in his face. I just can't tell when a puppy, like how they're gonna develop. Um, but his dad looks crazy. His mom looks good. So the mom's Murrow and the dad's, uh, I, I believe his dad, uh, their dad's name is Punch. So if you guys know about dogs, uh, Punch is their dad. So yeah, and the mom came from um, Babe. So it's got Babe Bloodline and Punch. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the new member of the family, this one right here, which I don't even have a name for him yet. Uh, since we have two right now, it's just hard to even kind of train them. So just been uh, keeping them around since they're they're still little, but but they're pretty calm. I mean, you know, they're they're less active than the Frenchies. I can tell you guys that these are nice dogs. I like them. You know, like I said, I miss Pablo, so just wanted to give it a try. So that one, my friends be yours what y'all think if you guys interested let me know should we do a giveaway at him what y'all think should we do a giveaway in that little puppy i just you know about the giveaways i just would be wonder like you know if it's gonna go to a good home you know you know some people just can't be patient with animals and they want to leave them in shelters and stuff and i would hate to be you know kind of responsible for that so you know i would i don't know what y'all think should we do a giveaway in this bad boy right here not this one this one right here the lighter one i don't know let me know again in the comment section guys